Mm. Okay. So uh, today, uh, let me show uh, our main topics are uh, data entry reports, just like the name of this lecture. Yeah. So before we start, before we start this webinar, and uh, I'd like to introduce one more time about fine reports, how to use fine reports, and what kind of results you can get from our official website. Actually, the first one is about the uh, help document. This is our official help document, and we are still uh, constructing about this fine report, uh, fine report help document. The other one is about the uh, videos. Uh, we uploaded the new videos recently to our official website. This is our newest videos about Fire Report version 10. And, uh, and uh, we, will also, we will start our webinars via this channel in the future. Uh, if you are interested in Fire Report, please subscribe it and you can, so that you can receive the notification about our following webinars. Uh, this is about our newest videos, okay? So let's start and uh, the fine reports. The first, first part, I'd like to introduce report deployment one more time. Last time I have, uh, uh, I have, ta I have uh, talk, talked about this, but it's not very clear. So today I will let you know uh, step, step by step, okay? So, uh, as we can see from our uh, help document, uh, this is our basic introduction about the fine report, the typology of the application scenarios. Uh, fine report is a web-based service application. It can, run in, it can be run in the web, con uh, web service containers such as Tomcat, WebLogic, and other containers. And for the developers, report developers, they can connect to the server via fine report designers. This is fine report designers. And uh, for the users, I mean the report viewers, they can uh, use the web browser to, uh, by using an URL to log in fine report system to view the reports. Yeah, that is how it works. So, for the developers, actually this webinar are mainly for the developers. So for the developers, the first step for, the, for them, they need to know how to deploy fine report to your own server, maybe in, maybe in the cloud or maybe in a local server, right? So as we can, uh, let's go to fine reports official website. If you click the download, and as we can see, this part, these three parts are designers for Windows and Mac OS. This is our mobile application. You can download the mobile application. We will, uh, we will also mention that in this webinar in the following time. Okay. These are about the server deployment. Actually, lots of the developers, or lots of clients, they have asked me how to deploy fine reports to their server. Uh, you can also find the introduction from the help document. For example, you search deploy right? in, in here, you can find the document. Uh, maybe it's it's very it's more complicated than you expect than you expected. You can you need to install the Java runtime environment, such so something like that. It's a little complicated. So our developers have really uh, the, the, the package for the server deployment have been released. These are the de deployment deployment package. It means the Linux uh, deployment and the Windows deployment. So first of all, uh, I uh, I like to let you know how to deploy fine reports to your. Uh, CentOS server, CentOS server. Uh, for example, if you uh, download fine reports, uh, deployment package for Linux, you will get one 
documents like this one. And I'm using this tool to upload this package to the server. Uh, so uh, this is my uh, CentOS uh, server. So as we can see, uh, let's cd to the root directory. Uh, this one app is the directory I just created. So uh, this one is the package I just downloaded from the official website. So uh, first of all, let's change this authority. Okay, then we can uh, extra extract the document uh, to this current directory. So we can use the tar command and uh, extract all of the documents uh, from from the uh, from the extracted documents and then we will find uh, a lot of uh, directories for example the cd to the directories as we can see there are bin and the conf and the uh, web apps directories uh, i have introduced this directory in the first webinar so uh, from now, I just need to let you know how to uh, start how to uh, start the final report service. So let's cd to the BIN directory. As we can see, there are lots of uh, scripts. For example, this one startup.sh is the one we are going to use. We just need to uh, execute this one uh, after you execute this command uh, you need to uh, wait for about one minute uh, in this case file reports will start will finish the startup uh, if you want to see the logs you just need to use this command so as we can see this is the process uh, about the uh, about the starting service so uh, as we can see here the server has been started up. so now let's check the IP address of uh, this server as we can see the server of uh, the IP address of this server is 1895 so uh, let's move to the border and uh, if we use this URL to visit the server we will find us. We uh, we have connected. Find report service. Uh, from now here, as we can see, this one is the one I'm using in this webinar. So uh, for the Windows, because the, there is a uh, GUI interface, yeah. graphic user interface, so uh, it's it's easier to. Understand. Okay, so that is this is about the deployment. Uh, I'd like to mention one one more thing about uh, some other documents you need for this lecture. This, uh, for example, the data, the reports, and the API you can get from this from this page uh, from here. If you click course template, uh, it, you can download all of the. API we need to use in this lecture and and, and even the reports and there is another uh, document for you I have prepared one, one document for you to let you know how to use the template uh, in this lecture for example this one uh, is this document is the one uh, where we are going to share if you feel the Questionnaire in this. If you feel the questionnaire here, and we will send you the document, we will send you this document to let you know how to use the API, the template uh, we're sharing in this in this webinar. Okay, so. Uh, now uh, let's to, let's talk about the application scenario of the data entry uh, reports in this 
in this webinar. Uh, actually, this is not only about the technical uh, technical skills in this lecture. It's, uh, this is a solution about uh, for the enterprises, especially during this uh, coronavirus pandemic. Because uh, because a lot of employees they have to stay at home and working at home cannot go to the companies. So we uh, promote one solution. Uh, we promote a solution for the enterprises. As we can see, the, the subtitles. Your company may not eat a time and attendance machine anymore uh, because you can do a lot of things such as uh, such as check, checking the attendance uh, by using fine reports. And uh, if you want to let know more about the solutions, you can click here to let you know more about the uh, about our solutions. Let's have an overview of the reports we are going to talk in today's webinar. But the first one is the working schedule. Uh, in the company, especially in summer and uh, winter, the working time is the working time are different. So uh, there is a report for the companies to set the working schedule for every seasons. Uh, so uh, here you can define your own working time here. Uh, this is about the working schedule reports. But the second one is the user management. For example, there are four employees in the company. If you have a new employee, you can create, you can click insert role and to input another role for a new employee. Okay. If you don't have new employee, but you need to modify or change the salary or other information of your employee, you can click modify and then as you can see there are a lot of history data for this employee. If you want to change the current data, the old data will not be erased, will not be override. So it's a kept history. In case the people check the history data, and uh, we got it as uh, as CD slowly changing dimension, and even fine reports can even do that without create a lot of triggers at the database end. Okay, so next one is about the working day management. For example, uh, maybe in most of the countries, on Saturday and Sunday are weekday. A weekend and uh, from Monday to Friday are working days. So we we uh, provide a default calendar, default working working day calendar. And in some countries there are some special holidays. Uh, for example, this day there is a holiday, and then you can modify the the label of this day and then submit it to the database. If you query it one more time, uh, you will find that this day is already holiday, has been changed to holiday. Uh, in this day, if your employees don't have the pinch data, uh, I mean the time attendance data, they shouldn't get fined. Right? So this is uh, the use, we create the working day management report. Okay. And uh, this one is the most important one, and it's also from the mobile end. Uh, all of the data are generated automatically. Uh, the users just need to click the submit button at the mobile, at the mobile end to punch in or punch out. All of the labels are generated automatically. We will introduce mainly for this reports in the following time. Okay. And uh, the next one is about the paycheck list. For example, if I select 2020 and the third month, you will see all of the employees paycheck list. Uh, it's, very it's very useful for the financial department. 
because base salary, as we can see, the base, there is a base sal basic salary and the actual salary. It depends on how many minutes the people collect in in the uh, in the month. So this paycheck list are generated automatically. Uh, the financial department's uh, employees can export the paycheck list. Uh, they don't need to uh, take, uh, doing a lot of difficulty calculation to get the actual salary for every employee. You can uh, ask fine report doing all of the calculation automatically. The last report is the dashboard. Uh, for example, uh, there are a lot of data have been generated in a uh, over in a over in the past month, and uh, now you need to know uh, the overall the overall information about the uh, remote working schedule. In this case, uh, for example, I selected the uh, uh, April, uh, April, and then. Uh, I get all of the expenses of my company, including the salary. salary. The total fine fee means uh, um, the employee are right. right? You need to uh, decrease their salary, and this is the summary all of the late minutes and leave early minutes. Here are the pie charts about the late times and early early times and normal times um, by employee. And this is the uh, this is the working schedule street for every day. And you, uh, actually you can choose. Of course you can you can change the chart to a line chart uh, or other kinds of charts. And this is about the map. Uh, because every employee, when they report, when they submit their data to the uh, server, they will submit the uh, geographical information automatically, including the latitude and latitude. So in this case, we can uh, create a map to display the late, the late number and the leave early number uh, at different areas. Uh, for example, there are three employees working in three different countries. Uh, we can see who often late and who often leave early. Uh, this is a dashboard about uh, the pension data and the expenses. And of course, you can add more. Uh, if you have more dimensions data, uh, so maybe for maybe before you think that there are only just the six reports. Uh, actually, uh, there are great relationship among these six reports. Mm, it is it is very useful for the company, especially during this special period. A lot of people have to work at home. In this document, this document is the guide about about uh, the template, how to use templates. First of all, you need to start the final report service and then prepare the data API and template. This this one is the all of the data we are going to use in this in, in this uh, uh, webinar. So as I'd like to show you. Uh, This data is the one you get. You have got from the official website, and if you didn't hear, if you didn't hear anything just now, I'd like to let you know how to download the resource about these webinars from our official website. Uh, in this page, you click the course template, and you will download uh, and download the document. You will get all of the all of the documents here. And uh, the lecture three DB is, is the database we are using in this lecture. So you need to copy this database 
documents under web application and web roots and help directory. Just like it, just like shows here. I like to show you uh, the one I'm using. This one, web application, web root, and uh, help. This one is the vector three database. Uh, okay, and the second step, and the next step is uh, about the API to get the uh, to get the addresses. Um, this one you can also get from the document from the document you download from the official website and uh, if you don't have don't worry we will update all of the documents here after this webinar and uh, like it shows here and uh, under the web root directory there is the gsp document and i already copied to this directory and uh, then uh, it's about the data connection uh, before the data connection, I'd like to let you know uh, you need to uh, the default working directory is the is your local directory. And if you are using uh, if you are using a server, you need to create uh, here others and then uh, new new a server. But now uh, currently I'm using the local. I'm using the, the uh, I'm using the local directory. Uh, because I already started the final force service. Okay, and then uh, you need to create a data connection. How to create a data connection? And uh, then uh, the create a data set. This one. Click the server data set. And uh, select the uh, sorry. After the database, you need to firstly create a data data connection, uh, like it shows, like it shows here. And you need to create a data connection, like this one. And uh, rename the name as remote. Please remember, use this name. And the, the URL is this one. Uh, uh, if you after you select uh, circle light, and you will get the default URL, you just need to modify the FRDM to lecture three. Okay, and we cancel it. Uh, after that, you need to create a server dataset, as it highlighted here. The server dataset is used to synchronize your own user account to find for decision platform, decision making platform, and uh, the the SQL command is this one. It shows like this. For example, you just need to collect the server dataset and select the remote data connection and paste the SQL command here. And you will get the preview it. You will see the default user's information. Okay. And then uh, we, the next step is to synchronize the data and if you didn't synchronize the data uh, there from here the users there will be more maybe 20 users defaultly and uh, if you synchronize the synchronize the users and you need to uh, click the edit and then select the server data set we just created that is the user information and then select the user name and password uh, all of that uh, fails. Why we use this uh, synchronized users, not use the default users or import from other system? Because in this lecture, the user's information are just uh, not the user name and the department name, and mailbox and the phone number. Um, we also have other information for every users, as we can see here including the salary because in fine parts platform the default information for the users not including salary so we use our external database or data set to synchronize the users that is why we have to synchronize the users
Okay, and then we can move down and uh, the directory manage. Uh, because you have before that before manage the directory, you need to copy all of the reports we shared to the report list uh, under the report list directory. This one, this directory is we use in this webinar and uh, directory you create a directory and then you just uh, need to add all of the template shows this one that is the way to use find reports and there are still other config configuration about the uh, mobile platform so let's do it now and uh, now I'm checking my current IP address. The server's IP address is this address. So go to the management platform and uh, click mobile platform. Click the QR code configuration. You need to paste the URL like this. This IP is the server's IP. And create, create a generate QR code. And then um, from the uh, from the mobile mobile terminal, and uh, let's connect to my mobile application to my mobile. Okay, here. Mm -hmm. Wait a moment. Okay, this is my iPhone, and uh, this is the application we developed. Uh, de define the developed by fine report team and uh, if we click the report uh, click the icon and then we will we need to configure the server first and uh, then we create new server and then scan the QR code as we can see there is a new new uh, server just uh, added to the mobile application and uh, as we can see, there are four users, and we can use any one of them to uh, use to log in find report system. For example, we use Bob, and then we input the username and password. So as we can see, there is a directory uh, lecture three we just uh, created. If we uh, if we click, uh, if we tap, tap the directory, we can see two uh, reports. The first one is the one we are going to introduce mainly in, in today's webinar. So, the, uh, for example, uh, because the working off time is, uh, uh, is, uh, is 6 p.m., uh, so uh, now the time is uh, uh, it has the normal time is afternoon. It's not uh, the working end time, so it shows a bit early. For example, if now is the morning and uh, the time is over nine o'clock, and it will show it will show the status is is uh, light because here in the uh, working schedule we have defined the working schedule. The working schedule from uh, from uh, this day to th this month to this month is uh, from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So um, it show it shows leave leave early, and uh, this is the how many minutes uh, until to the to the working of time. Uh, in this condition, you don't you shouldn't you shouldn't. Uh, click the submit button. If you click, don't worry about that. And uh, after your actual actual lead time, you can submit again to avoid it uh, records your 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 leave you leave early. Okay. And then uh, let's back to the reports. Uh, this part we merge the cells. And then insert an image. You can use any kind of image as you like. This part is uh, the text shows here. Maybe uh, 
you will ask me uh, why it shows this one, but as the template, it is just like this. The file reports use fine username is the invalid parameter in file reports system. So I use fine reports username, but I I uh, I also use a uh, data dictionary uh, style to show the actual to show the value. For example, the the display value. The, the display value is this one. The, so it will show like the mobile phone shows near about have a great day. Uh, but the actual value is the find username. So it's like this. And uh, the, the date is a formula. It shows today. So on the mobile, on the mobile end, and uh, on the mobile end, it will show the date as uh, today, and the time is the current time. And these two cells we are using, we are using the uh, the formulas to display the value. Uh, this part is actually is a uh, is a button. As you can see, we click the widget. As we can see here, is a button. But there is another event. After the, uh, if we click add add button to add the new uh, event, uh, there are two options. We need to select the first one. After it, uh, after the uh, initialization, and it need it must to execute the commands like this. And uh, uh, this is the GS code. GS code is the default. We can share it with you, and you can also find it from our have document. Um, why we, uh, as, as we can see, the URL and uh, we, we, we use the uh, GSP API, that is the one we use, that is the one we copy to the web, web root directory just now. And we use the GSP to uh, get the actual addresses. Um, and uh, because this uh, from find report default function fr location, it can get the longitude and latitude and longitude. And according to the latitude and longitude, we can get the actual address uh, by using the API. And then we set the sales value uh, to maybe it's here the longitude and latitude. This one, the 4 and 22, actually means the uh, the third, the fourth column and twenty-third, twenty-third uh, rows. Uh, it means uh, one, two, three, four, five, and uh, this cell. It means this cell. After the is uh, after the initialization, it will set this cell to the latitude and uh, set this cell to the latitude, and then uh, after that, as we can see in the data entry report. <clears throat> we set this cell to the latitude, this cell to the latitude. Uh, this table are the uh, background table to save the data. Uh, I will uh, introduce it more later. And then uh, here, <clears throat> this is about the button to get the IP, uh, to get the uh, geographical information. Uh, In this way, uh, the users should, the users cannot modify cannot modify their uh, actual address by their uh, manual. So uh, the address is uh, get is getting by the system automatically. The direction direction is a label actually. For example. I'm using the SQL command to define my own my own rules. For example, now mm, the label is leave early because the daily start time is nine o'clock. The daily end time, daily end working end time is uh, uh, is eighty eighty o'clock. So mm, currently the time is uh, six sixteen. So the working schedule is leave early.
and we can use the we can use the label here this one working schedule here okay so the uh, this is static uh, also the, uh, the direction is the same direction means uh, as we can see the direction is out because if uh, the if uh, it if on the morning the direction will be in if it's on the afternoon it's on the af in the afternoon the direction will be out uh, that is defined by, me, by myself according to the law here as we can see uh, when the current time between 0 to uh, 12 then the label is in and the other time is out so you, you can also define your own your own rules about the label and uh, the period of day is also in the working label in the label uh, we calculate the we calculate the time differences um, between the between current time and the standard working start and working end time uh, then we get the get the value okay the remark is a uh, text area and uh, uh, the users can something some 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 information by their own and, and here is to uh, show the pension records for today and this is the data set about today so as we can say if we when we preview the data and we set the parameter to bar um, we value um, automatically if uh, by by using the current username you don't need to fill any value and uh, here uh, the you are asking me there is only one cell how to display two records uh, how to display three records because uh, there are three records right and uh, then we can uh, set the expanded direction to work uh, to uh, add vertically and uh, the data will expand vertically and this is also uh, a label and we can set the left department cell as uh, this cell and it means it will expand uh, following this cell if he expands three cells it's, it will does the same uh, so this is about the data entry report design uh, for the back end uh, I mean the for the back end I mean the, the table design uh, we will let's let's see and here this is the design about the about the table uh, employee name, and date, time, and the latitude, uh, latitude and latitude, address, direction, uh, remark, working status, period of differences. I mean the ab abnormal, ab abnormal period, and uh, the update time generated automatically. Okay, this is about the table. So as the data entry attribute. We can select the data set as remote and then the table is the uh, state table. This is the name about the pen state table. So we add all of the uh, all of the cells, uh, all of the files here and then we bend the value as uh, uh, to the final report template cells. For example, the employee name is A9, this this cell. The other cells are the same. You just need to uh, set the corresponding uh, cells, and then that's the users to submit the data. Uh, that, that's all about these reports. But if you develop a report like this, uh, it's made uh, after if you have uh, uh, clarified your requirements. It just needs uh, your maybe one hour to develop these reports.
so it's very quick. It's very quick. But besides that, there are also a lot of uh, uh, other settings. For example, this cell and uh, it, as we can see uh, from the mobile terminal, and uh, there are there are uh, nothing. For example, here you cannot see the button. Where is the button? Because here we have set the uh, conditional formatting, uh, the row height, the current, the row height is zero, so it show it, it doesn't show the current the current cell. It doesn't show the current current cell here. Okay, and uh, even this three cell. It doesn't show because we hide it. We set the uh, conditional formatting, and even the label we have set uh, other parameters. For example, if the value of this label is late, the color of the font will be will be red, and if uh, the the value equals to leave, leave early, it will it will be another color. So that is how we see, that is what we see here is uh, leave early and the, it's an orange orange color and uh, it's the same this one. This is a working schedule and uh, if the current, if the value is late and all of the, the car, all of the foreground in the current row will be red. So that is what we see here, if it's normal, the color is green. If it's live early, it's orange. If it's late, the color of font will be red. This is about the data entry fine reports. The data entry reports about the punch in and out reports. Um, do you have any questions about? This report. You can not have. Let's continue. And uh, next, next report is about the uh, working day management. Working day management. Okay, uh, this one. Uh, let's go back to the working the management direct uh, report. Uh, as we can see, there are uh, twelve map, but uh, but the template is looks very 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 simple, right? But how how it shows the Reports like this shows fine reports can extend the data vertically, uh, automatically, vertically or horizontally. So it shows like this, but the template is looks like this. It's very it's such simple. And let's let's move to this cell and to let you know how to develop a report like this. For example, this one is a range. It's a formula. Range means uh, to tell. Okay. So and uh, the um, there is also another um, data set. Uh, means the month month name. As we can see, the month of year from one to twelve, and uh, the the corresponding month name is this one. So we have created a data set. And then here, but it, here uh, it shows January, February, right? So we set the, uh, this, we set the, uh, uh, this one is, is equals to B2. Actually, these two cells are the same value. And then you can see this is January, and uh, we have set the display 
to data dictionary and uh, select the data select uh, the data source as data set select the math name the actual value is month of year the display value is month so it shows the math name but not the numbers okay this is the title about about these uh, reports and uh, this part is the year and uh, this is also the the big title uh, the year is a cell yeah the, the year is a parameter and uh, where is the parameter parameter's name because it's the drop down box the biggest name is a year and then we can use uh, for example if i select 2020 the value here will be 2020 okay so it makes sense right okay and then uh, here the wiki the weak label we, we define a quick uh, weak label uh, manually we create an ad and select an embedded data set the weak label uh, here are seven values from Sunday to Saturday and uh, uh, this is the weak label okay uh, can you see the screen here this is the week it's just a screen just a screen and here this is the uh, math uh, year data set here uh, we can preview the data for example we select 20 we, we set it as 2020 and then uh, preview the data the here is the month of year and here this is the Math of the month. Uh, for example, uh, it means uh, the first week, second week of this month of the uh, January, and this is the first week of February, uh, like this. Uh, so here, this is the as we can see, this is the week of month. So it shows the one, two, three, four, five, and the other others. The others are same. Every month there are uh, five weeks or six. Five six or uh, five weeks or six fix six weeks, and then we set it. We drag it here and uh, set the uh, expansion direction uh, vertically, and the uh, left perm cell is C two. Actually, we can also set it. Uh, okay, uh, we set it as C two because this is uh, expanded vertically, mm. and uh, there are twenty values, so it will be twenty value in the in the reports display like this, January to uh, December. Uh, okay, so it will follow the title, so it will be one, two, three, four, five. Not like here. one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. It's follow this title. Okay, <clears throat> and uh, the DS one data set. Let's see what it is. There are a lot of data. Okay, the label. Uh, we generated the data uh, on the Saturday and Sunday. The default value are vacant. Other days are working. Okay. So we also know the Friday to uh, the, the, the weekday of the week. Okay. So uh, this this cell is uh, is the day day of month. So it uh, it shows one to 
30 to 31. And then this is the label of the month. So it shows a working day or weekend day. Uh, and uh, the please focus on the parent cell is default. It means it follow this cell and uh, the uh, up the up parent cell is this one and its end direction is horizontally. So it means it will expand the, the cell horizontally. And uh, we, uh, if we double click it, you can also see there are a lot of filters. For example, the D4, if the week, weekday of week equals to D4, it means if the date of uh, this value, if the week, weekday of this value is uh, Sunday, and uh, it should be as this condition is Sunday. And uh, the second per second uh, filter is week of month equals to C5 means uh, if this, uh, for example, the ninth day, the ninth day is the second week, the the week the week of month must equals to C5 C5 is the the second week, and uh, if uh, and the month of the year. For example, the, the data have to, um, for example, the, this nine, nine value uh, is the date in January. It shouldn't, it shouldn't display in February. So it adds the future month of year must equals to B2. B2 means January, right? So this is the logic about the filters. Even the label, the label doesn't need to add the, the filters because it will follow, follow the, this cell and this cell. So this is how to develop the reports. And uh, let's see the data entry attribute from here. And uh, we select the remote and uh, working the... And uh, the as we can see, the year is B one, B one, and uh, the month of year is B two. Uh, week week of month is C five. Uh, day of month is D five, and the label is D six. Why we uh, click these four files as key? Because this data we will not change anymore in the database. What the data will change is only the label. So we didn't set the, set the label as a key. It means if the current value in the cells uh, about the, uh, the combination of these four files uh, will be unique, there is only one row, uh, one, one, one unique row uh, of the combination of these four files. And if the label has been changed, it will update the value of the label based on the based on these four keys. So uh, we also add, uh, we also enable this per this parameter, uh, uh, this this attribute. So uh, if uh, it means if the label not changed, it will it will not correct all of the data in the database. It will save a lot of time and improve the data entry efficiency. And uh, so if we save it, uh, then we refresh this data set. Okay. For example, uh, this day is not working day. It's holiday. We should set the label as holiday. And then we submit it. We query it again, as we can see, it will be holiday. So, on this day, if your employee have the punch in and out data, it doesn't work. It, it is not a valid valid value because today is holiday. All of the people that all of the people don't work, so you you don't need to calculate the salary on this day. 
that is why we create this working day management reports. So uh, during the introduction, we have mentioned the parent cell and cell extension and how to update data and uh, uh, what's the meaning of the child cell uh, and the parent cell. So uh, if you are still cannot understand, uh, I think it, the best way is uh, exploring, exploring the reports based on uh, the existing, existing reports I shared. Okay, so the next one is about employee management. As we can see here, the user management reports. If you click modify, there are a lot of uh, uh, history records for these people. Uh, so you can see from this day to this day, the salary is 30. So from the February to April, the salary rate is uh, 35,000. So uh, it means if we change the salary of these people, we should wish we have to keep the history data about these people. The professional pro professional words is uh, SCD slowly changing dimension. It means the uh, data we if we update data, we keep the history data. If we want to uh, see the history data, we also have a choice. Um, so, for example, if, if the current salary of these people is 45,000, if he wants to search or query his salary in January, if you erase the data in January, he will not find the history data. So, we, we, uh, we use a way to uh, keep the history data and uh, there is another point we have to focus on how to clarify the data or the history data we have two more two more files to record the valid date or the valid period for example uh, uh, from uh, January uh, first day of January to uh, uh, the first day of uh, February uh, during this period, the salary is 30,000. And uh, uh, this value is equal to this value. And the validate two is validated to the form. And this validate two is validated to this validate form. So it's, it's, it likes a chain. And uh, it, likes a, it, it likes a chain. And uh, to let you know, uh, there are a lot of nodes in the tree, in the chain. So that you know uh, the valid validate date of the of the data. For example, the newest valid the newest records of valid date valid two is a very very future date, future date, mm, and uh, it's very it's valid from uh, uh, today. Okay, if we change it to another value, submit. And then we uh, we see it. Okay, this one is uh, the newest one just now. Now it's it, this one uh, is the newest one. So the validate to the time becoming the, the the time we modify the data just now. So, so I will let you know how to create reports like this by find, by using find reports. So as you can see, the uh, current salary is forty thousand. If we refresh this page, and uh, uh, sorry, the salary uh, is the so the salary the current salary is five thousand. Okay, so uh, this. Reports is uh, user information management. This part is used to show the the history information, like uh, like this part, and uh, here is uh, the data entry reports. 
for the for modify the current current information of the of the employee. Uh, I will not introduce all all about the design. I I need to more, I need to mention I only mention the how to set the data entry attribute to uh, let you uh, modify uh, to let you insert a new records about the newest data and uh, based on the newest data you you uh, can also update the uh, last records uh, how to update the last last records this first data entry attribute uh, is very clear and it's very easy to understand it's just like other normal data entry reports uh, is there is nothing special to it to, to explain uh, the important part is about the second part we set we set the submit type as up, update submit and we set the username and validate from as the keys and validate to uh, is not the key because we only need to we only need to modify the validate to data. For example, here, if we if we add a new records, this part we don't need to we don't we don't need to modify it. We just need to uh, update these files to the current day to the current time time. So we uh, set the uh, validate to as another column. These two are the uh, keys, and uh, the combination of these two files will be will, will keep unique in the database. Uh, so that is uh, F F seven is now it's a formula now, so it will update the data to the current timestamp. This is the tips how to update the latest data, and based on the Based on the latest data use, you can also insert a new data, new records. This is the STD. And if you uh, if you implement the similar function in the database, I think you have to you have to uh, write very complicated triggers in the database in the in the database side. Uh, yeah, a lot of uh, database masters, you know that. But uh, and final part side, you don't need to write any triggers at the uh, da database database side. Uh, you, you can fin you can uh, finish that uh, by using uh, update submit as the data attribute. It's very easy to uh, set the parameter set the attributes. This uh, is about the uh, STD slowly changing the mission. Uh, these are all of the parts we have mentioned. As you may also uh, interest in this, you may also interested in this part about this dashboard. How to create the dashboard? Uh, let me tell you how to create it. Mm, firstly, uh, let's go to the database side. Uh, I need to I need to know which one I should use. Uh, I think is uh, this one. Okay. Mm, new query. As we can see, the punch data, P U N working day and punch data. Uh, we already collected a lot of punch data from the uh, data entry reports. For example, the data including the name, date, and uh, time, uh, latitude, longitude, and, uh, and uh, specific addresses, direction, uh, working status is normal, or uh, late. Uh, 
and uh, there are also the calculated uh, abnormal uh, abnormal time differences. Uh, so based on this based on this data, and then we create a dashboard. Uh, like uh, we create a dashboard, the performance appears like this. Okay. Firstly, uh, this is the parameter. For example, I create a new dashboard and check the parameter here. And then uh, on the parameter, you can check the labels and drop down box. And you can also check the query button. Uh, this is how to design a query dashboard in Final Report. Uh, here, I already created a new one. Uh, the, here, this is the looking name, DIM year, and this is the DIM month. Uh, and also, it's bent to the data dictionary, uh, to the DIM dataset. For example, here, if you select the year as 2020, you will get a lot of months from the uh, database and uh, the, the, the year is uh, this is the data uh, you can define by yourself you can also uh, set the default value as current year uh, okay this is just uh, I just uh, I just set a range to let the users select the uh, history data Mm -hmm. If you don't allow them to select the history data, you can uh, just uh, set the current value, uh, current year in this data set. Okay, so please remember the name of the widget. And uh, the latest, uh, for example, uh, we, this part is the uh, late times by employee. So as we can see, we click this pie chart, and the, da the data is late data, late data. Okay. So this SQL command uh, is uh, mm -hmm. uh, has direction uh, as the as e e e e. Uh, so. Uh, the logic of the parameter of this SQL command, and I think you can uh, explore it. Uh, you can explore it by yourself uh, because we have shared the template. Um, okay, and uh, then uh, we. This is the data about the light. For example, if we uh, input. 2020 and uh, this one. Okay, I think it should be here. Okay, uh, we can see in this month uh, the value is times, times, and how many times the people left. And the summary is now because we already summed the data. We already sum the data as uh, here, sum time period differences as abnormal period. If you didn't set the sum, you can set it the sum, but I recommend the column and the uh, reports. Uh, there are default styles uh, uh, in the dashboard like that. We select the map type, the, the type of the map as point map. Actually, there are also also flow maps and uh, combination maps. Uh, we use the point map, and the data is late area here. We need to input the to see it, to preview the, the data. For example, the fourth month uh, in this area. There are four times. Uh, uh, there are six times, five or three and seven. So there are only four areas because we have four employees, right? 
uh, so okay and then we can see the data latitude is latitude and the latitude is latitude the area name actually we don't have area name so we can select anyone from the files now I am selecting the years and uh, the series name we, there are two options we use the in, in, uh, in, enable, enable the file, file name the series is as working 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 status actually the working status all of the working status are, are light uh, yeah the, the value is times times is uh, how many times the, the, the people uh, late so then the st at the cell uh, in the series we set the uh, point cell as bubble bubble it shows like uh, this but if we change it to other other uh, points it will it will show another another point another map we need to refresh it <clears throat> okay mm -hmm. uh, okay uh, sorry I didn't save it I, sh I have to save it okay it has been saved So it, it shows like this, but it's not transparent. It's, it's not transparent. So we will we, we use the, the, uh, the bubble. And also, you can customize your own picture. OK. And this is about the map. There are uh, expenses, fine fee, and abnormal moments. There are three extensive charts. Uh, extended charts uh, is the KPI card. We, se we uh, se selected the title as KPI card. The data, the data is, uh, I think it is this. Uh, mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, uh, in this table, we use we use the working day, working day management. As we can see, that's the join working day. And uh, we also, we only select the data where the label is working. That is why we create uh, this, we, that's why we create uh, this report. And uh, we will not uh, calculate the, the date, the date in the, uh, now working day. Okay, so please explore more uh, about the log, uh, SQL command logic. Uh, uh, maybe today uh, when we talk about the logic of the SQL command, uh, we skip it. But that is why I skip it because this is not the uh, important part of final course. Find reports. Uh, what I want to let you know is find reports support SQL command. So you have a lot of uh, flexible choices. For example, you want to uh, you want to uh, uh, group the data and uh, something other uh, choices, some other options. You can uh, select. It. You can implement the uh, logic. In the SQL command, uh, not like other reporting tools, you have to. Uh, there are only limited limited choices. Uh, for example, change the change the format of the data and uh, uh, calculate the summary uh, of the data. That 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 kind of tool, uh, the the calculate methods are limited are limited. So in final part is totally different. Uh, users can define their own way to calculate the data. So that is the one of the advantage, uh, advantages of final parts. Uh, 
maybe if you are not good at SQL command, uh, you think the other tools are more convenient. But if you are an SQL command, SQL master, uh, you you, are, you, are, you you are, you know the SQL command is very it's just a piece of cake. So uh, based on the SQL command, you can do a lot of things. This is uh, how to this is how to develop uh, uh, dashboards and find reports. Uh, today we have a talk about uh, of three data entry reports and a dashboard. Uh, actually, there are still other reports such as such like the paycheck list. Uh, there are still a lot of things we you can explore. Um, if uh, if your company are if you are if, if your uh, employees are still working at home, I think you can. I think you can uh, use this solution. This is a basic solution uh, for your company to manage the remote work, to manage the remote working. And uh, to be honest, if you have your own special uh, requirements about this solution. Uh, you can just feel free to tell us and we can arrange our project team to develop the report according to your requirements to let your company manage the data perfectly. Uh, that is uh, why we develop uh, uh, this kind of reports and uh, about and this uh, webinar. Uh, 